Some of the greatest stories ever told have been underdog stories. No matter how good you are, you're the best basketball player in one city, you know what I'm saying, or the best football player, the smartest kid in the school, sooner or later you're gonna have to come to the cream of the crop. So you're an underdog to make it from birth. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody's gonna make it. It's a lot of people that are gonna try and fail. So underdog story is a great story. It takes a lot of focus, a lot of preparation, a lot of uh, losing sleep. See, a lot of people, they look on TV and see successful people, and they automatically want to be them successful people. But I don't think they know that them successful people put in a lot of hours unseen, losing sleep, crying, failing, like not making it happen. And I just think a lot of people get caught up in the point where, oh, I'm afraid to try something because didn't nobody believe in me. Well, it's not nobody's job to believe in you. That's your job. Believe in yourself. You have one job, and that's to believe in yourself. And I think a lot of people just don't understand that. And so that gets lost in a, in a cloud of bad thoughts, in a, in a cloud of worrying about wins and losses. That's the hard part, because it's hard to really put your faith in something not knowing the outcome. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody's still caught up in not knowing if you're gonna succeed. But I want you to understand that all wins have losses. Because to win, you gotta give up a lot and lose a lot just to win. So then it becomes, is it worth it to you? All wins have losses, but not all losses are the same. I think a lot of people need to understand that. I never worry about wins and losses so much. I live my life by a simple motto. What do you have today? that you never had before. I'm gonna let that sit on you real quick because a lot of people are not gonna understand it. What do you have today that you never had before? You have another day. What does that mean? Every day you wake up, you have something you never had. You can't get tomorrow back, but if you got another day, what are you gonna do with it? Because now that you got that another day that you never had before, everything's possible. You have to fight for this. You have to dream. You have to want. You have to cry. You have to lose. You have to suffer. This wall means a lot to me. Fly fresh with my grandma. My daughter. I eat. Say their names for the black and brown community that's been suffering. The marathon continues. For six years I've been running this race. Faith in God, the size of a mustard seed. A lot of people didn't believe in me. A lot of people was joining my path to try to change my vision. You have to be careful. You have to be careful about that. A lot of people will join your path or your walk and then try to change your vision to something they thought they had. Uh, it's not their vision. It's the vision God gave you. It's the vision God gave me. And I'm excited for this journey that I knew wasn't going to be easy. But I'm built for it.